everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Denitis and welcome back to one year 365 <coughs> this is part 4 out of 7 part of the collectible card games mini series that we will actually discuss and today we will actually talk about hearthstone uh, yeah apparently this is the game that was created by blizzard um, yeah i was questioning previously about the game that uh, you know, like World of Warcraft, that is about TCG as well. Apparently, this one, the Hearthstone one, it's supposed to be like the Warcraft, uh, Warcraft, uh, spin-off or something like that. But we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Hearthstone is a free-to-play online digital uh, CCG developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. Uh, originally subtitled Heroes of Warcraft. Uh, Hearthstone builds upon the existing Lord of the Warcraft series by using the same elements, characters, and relics. It was first released for Microsoft Windows and Mac OS or Macintosh, I guess, uh, or Mac OS. Uh, Mac OS. <laughs> Don't know how to pronounce that. In March 2014, which port with ports for iOS and Android, releasing later that year. So, I actually know this game already since my high school. Um, I graduated in 2015. I think uh, in 2014, like late 2014, I think this was a little bit of like a talk as well. Like um, some friends of mine uh, are like, you know, like looking into this game as well. But at the time I didn't really because, well... Um, my phone couldn't actually play this because, well, it's the device that was like way, way too old. Uh, you know, like uh, not really way too old, but more like it's not compatible, pretty much. Uh, I also played this uh, in Blue Stack in 2017. It works fine though. Uh, I also played this myself in my phone. I think I can do that. I could do that uh, about 2016, 2017, probably. Uh, 2018 that's for sure um, however um, the thing is that um, it's kind of laggy in my phone it works but you need certain settings for this uh, game to work pretty much uh, also I play this as well in 2020 um, for a while though because I played back then. I saved the cards. I saved, uh, not saved, but like I got so many cards. Uh, however, the game was not saved properly. I didn't know if you can, you know, like a save progress on counter or cross platform. I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it should be though. Like, literally, they are like multi million or multi billion company as well. You know, um, I feel like. I feel like they should have had some kind of server for that. Maybe they do have, and I'm just and I was just too stupid to use that. I don't know how. Uh, maybe I can, but yeah. Uh, if I download the game again, I'm I will be sure that I will just restart from zero again with no card whatsoever. Which is okay. It's not really the end of the world, but you know I feel like it's kind of unfair, but. Yeah, again, maybe I'm just too stupid on, you know, and don't know how to use the safe uh, station, pretty much. Uh, anyway, yeah, Hearthstone, this is the logo of, for the, the name, which is, you know, like, a, it's kind of, what is it, like, it's really uh, popular, like, yeah, well, apart from the actual thing, <laughs> having the, the name of the game there as the logo as well, you know. Uh, but it's like the color, the yellow, and then the blue in the O, which is, uh, you know, like a typical for Hearthstone. Uh, developer Publisher Blizzard, yes. Director this three of these over here, and then designer as well. Composer, series, engine, Unity, interesting. Uh, okay, uh, platform, yeah, those we already mentioned. Release, yeah, 2014. Yeah, this one as well, like literally Android December 15, 2014, like I said, uh, you know, late, I mean late, uh, like late December, like people talk about this as well, some of my friend. Um, genre DGG, obvious. Uh, single player, multiplayer, oh, single player is available? I 
don't know about that actually oh actually i do uh yeah okay so apparently you can play this with the computer or the ai but i don't think you will get any currency that you can use to get uh more cards i don't think so it's just for practice pretty much uh so yeah uh the bad thing about this game though uh it's um anything you need to do, it's like pvp focused there is no campaign there's no story whatsoever that you know if you beat the the, the ai or the computer you will get um currency that you can use so you know like a, there is not really a pve option there it's just pvp you get currency from pvp as well you know like a, even with that it's still considered as free to play because uh, to get the advanced deck, you actually need to, you must pay actually, so yeah, it's heavily paid to win, and that's why, and, and that's kind of bad, uh, because generally speaking, mobile phone games, they are free to play, but also has some sort of, like, a grindy mechanics that you can also, uh, you know used to get uh the free stuff with rng however i don't think this card has that property i feel like it's everything is behind a payment wall meaning that you must pay to get the the you know the reason the most recent cards which is kind of annoying um unlike other games usually even if it's free to play you know uh the free to play players can still get the cards pay through some kind of method like maybe watching some ads maybe like um yeah like grinding it uh within pvp or pve as well i don't know but there's that um gameplay let's talk about gameplay then uh yeah this one <laughs> it's like very you know like um it's quite you know like like you know that if you see this oh it's hearthstone for sure uh, like this, there's these monster cards, pretty much it's just monster cards though, or creatures, and then there is also magic, but the magic is just instant, one, one time use only, so it's not really that it will stay on the board, unlike, you know, unlike uh, the previous game that we already mentioned, which is uh, the MDG and the Yukio as well, which some of the spell cards can actually stay on the board. But this one does not. However, some effect might actually stay for the remaining of for the remaining of the combat. Like for instance, um, you will I don't know regenerate even more mana every turn, like something like that. It's actually possible for that. Um, set within the Warcraft universe, Hearthstone is a digital only turn-based collectible card game, which pits two opponents against each other. Players like a hero. Uh, from one of the 10 classes, yes, I remember that. Uh, all classes have unique cards and abilities known as hero powers, which help define class archetypes. Uh, as where use a deck of cards from their collection with the end goal being to reduce the opponent's health to zero. I think they, uh, I think we need to have like either 20 or 30 cards, I think. Um, so yeah. Um... Unlike other card games such as MTG, Hearthstone was designed to speed up play by eliminating any manual reactions from the opposing player during a player's turn and setting a timer for each player's turn. Yeah, I know that. Uh, it's kind of quite interesting as well because sometimes connections might get worse and you know, you need to um, get forced uh, ending your turn as well and stuff like that. So yeah, there's that. Mm, what else uh game mode yeah casual i feel like it's just arena like pvp literally um yeah this one is just uh i don't think this has any sort of reward if any it's like very minimal uh and pvp is just pretty much the the most common one uh and then battlegrounds as well uh auto battle genre okay i actually never heard about that that's interesting and then duels in 2020, I also never heard about this one. Um, okay, classic as well, mercenary, okay, that's actually even more new stuff, interesting. I didn't know any of this getting added, so I might want to replay the game as well. Well, I don't know if that will work with this uh, device as well, considering that the game is kind of heavy as well. It, 
it takes a lot of space and also it takes a lot of memory or you know like uh, the memory usage pretty much that's why it's kind of heavy as well and it's it will be laggy pretty much and i kind of doubt i can make video out of it as well because i feel like the footage will be way way over than two gigabytes and it will not last long as well also by the way the the pedal can get a little bit too long as well so that's it pretty much like do you really want to see a video of one uh play only like yeah it's kind of not fun right so yeah that's that uh card sets here we go uh card for the mage uh, class interesting uh do i remember any of this card yeah this one i remember this one's i think the one that will uh, automatically uh deal damage i think this one uh maybe yeah i think so i'm i'm actually not sure but i feel like yeah because this is like the square is like the spell cards kind of like action cards while the circle one this one uh you can kind of see in the corner there's like a number it's the creature one so yeah this one's a spell i think um okay um what is it uh i don't know uh let's see if if there is anything interesting here to mention I'm just gonna, you know, like screen through this kind of stuff. Okay, collectible cards break down. Classic, real type, core. Uh, 2021, removal, date from standard. I don't know what this means, actually. Uh, legacy, core. Okay, March 11, uh, 2014. Uh, 2021, okay. And then adventure, which is 2014. Uh, Curse of Nax Ramas. Okay, goblins versus gnomes. Uh, 2014 as well, Bra Black Rock Mountain 2015, The Grand Tournament 2015, uh, expansion that is, League of Explorers, uh, LOE 2015, okay, Year of the Kraken, okay, Whispers of the Old Gods, uh, 2016, One Night in Karazan 2016, Main Streets of Gadget Zan, uh 2016 as well, and then Year of the Mammoth, Journey to the Angoro, uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne. I think it's the Wrath of the Lich King era, probably. I'm not sure. Uh, Cobalt and Catacombs. Okay. And then the Witchwood. Uh, Boomsday Project. Rastakans. Rumble. Uh, Rise of Shadows. Uh, Zephyrs of Old Doom. This is like 2019. Yeah. There's just a lot of this pretty much. And then 2020, uh, which is the, the most recent one. Well, not really the most recent one, but more like the... What is it? Like, uh, yeah. Also, by the way, what's the second date supposed to be? Removal date from standard. Oh. So, you can only get this from certain period of time. That's kind of broken, but whatever. Uh, maybe not. Maybe yes. I'm not sure, actually. And then there is this one, 2021, which is just last year. Uh, there is this core, 2021. And then Forts in the Parents. Uh, United in Stormwind uh fractured in Alterac valley okay and then this year year of the hydra uh core 2022 for years to the sunken city Ma murder at castle nathria and yeah that's pretty much it remove set okay that's pretty much it though um uh, oh that's only it as well development here we go uh conception uh two directions according to the developer desire for blizzard to develop something more experimental with a smaller team in contrast to their larger projects and the shared love of collectible card games throughout the company yeah like ccg always has some spot i would say um in people's heart uh, i feel like it's one of the it's like simple pretty much like you know if you think about it the the world the wow gameplay the mmorpg and then this is just the simple version of that this is card game so i feel like it's always great to have this kind of stuff um i know blizzard also created uh diablo i'm not sure if they will you know make it into the card games as well ccg but you know um but for diablo i'm not sure that'll be interesting though um as long as it's fun to play you know like uh also as long as it's simple <laughs> like uh, any gadgets 
can use it maybe i will support that as well but yeah that's just pretty much it uh what else here um game design and programming okay let's talk about the good stuff and the bad stuff of hearthstone good stuff is that it's i would say it's kind of original uh in a way that back then there is not really a lot of games that are like this um you know like uh the the layout as well like there is monsters or creatures and then there's you know health and attack as well and then there's the level if you want to summon this you need mana i guess that's kind of the same as uh mtg probably uh and then you know there is action cards as well like the spell cards and something like that um yeah it's i would say it's still uh original though uh yeah, this one does not have the... What is it? This one does not have the the physical card, which is kind of interesting. So, they are purely on digital. So, yeah, DCCG, um, pretty much. Which is kind of okay, I guess. The thing is like this. Um, I actually support the digital CCG one better than the uh, physical one. Because, for one... Um, well, I feel like you can just uh, make a fake cards if you think about it. If it's physical, you know, you can just, you know, like people can print out the card themselves. The thing is that that's kind of illegal. So, you know, um, it's kind of fake cards that's kind of killing it. And then um, the fact that it's kind of difficult to get as well because you literally would need the physical thing, meaning that you need to go to store buy the packs, you know, uh, open the packs yourself, and then get stuff, if you don't, then, you know, it's, you know, like, what are you going to do with the 17th duplicate of card that you already have, so it's, it's pretty much like that, so, yeah, um, also, meaning that if it's, you know, since it is printable card, meaning that there's only some uh, copy, like, you know, uh, maybe the packs already running out, already, you know, sold out to PayPal, and there is no more printed, so, you know, like, uh, some cards you cannot really obtain that, which is kind of uh, odd, so, yeah, and then, if it's, like, in digital, the, the pack's always ready at any time, so you can always buy uh, all you want, like, you can buy 100 packs, but the thing is that if you play it, uh, like, offline maybe there's not enough stock at the moment uh anyway uh good thing about uh hearthstone it's fun actually the the effects though uh kind of interesting i i used to play like bruiser style meaning that i only use stuff that are you know that has lots of defense or armor uh and that's pretty much it i'm just pretty much tanking you know like uh yeah, tanking pretty much until the opponent summons like a big ace monsters and then after that I can just trigger a fact that can destroy that immediately or something like that and that's pretty much it because um, if you don't have any creatures then the opponents will start attacking your health meaning that you need some sort of armor stuff you know like armored uh, creatures that can take hit so that you are safe uh, this is my playstyle in general uh, I took anything that has uh, high defense, uh, pretty much, but can also still attack or has at least um, effects that can summon stuff or effect that can, I don't know, like heal or add more armor or something like that, some kind of aura or something. Um, that's pretty much how I will play the deck. Um, so yeah. Um, I think that'll be it for this one about Hearthstone. I really love this one. I played this. Uh, oh yeah, the negative one. I forgot. The negative one is, uh, I kind of already mentioned pretty much. Uh, when I was playing this, there is not really a PvE that can give you any reward. Maybe there is now because the game apparently got updated. So, you know, maybe there is uh, and there is newer stuff. Also, I haven't really downloaded the game as well. Maybe now the game either is, you know, more wild that it requires even more memory or it's not that it's improved, uh, you know, like uh, it's simplified that also maybe it's compatible now. You can just have the settings for low end device. Maybe there is now. I'm not sure, but 
uh, that's just pretty much it for this one uh, anyway then that'll be it for this one i hope you guys enjoy it uh stay safe healthy i will see you again uh in the next one which is tomorrow talking about something else in the part five i think yeah part five because this is part four so part one we talk about ccg in general part two we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. part three we talk about mtg part four we talk about this one and then part five tomorrow we talk about other game and then part six another game and part seven we'll just closing things with uh something else you will see okay you will see it three days from now but until then uh see ya